So the Gotway or Bigod EX is simply, simply amazing. And majority of the reviews that you see online, they don't give you really the right idea about this amazing wheel. If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PEVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And let's talk a little bit more about this amazing wheel that many of you guys don't really understand the wheel. And I have to say that this wheel is really a wheel for heavy users, okay? Even me that I'm so light, I manage to feel connected to the wheel, so if you have more weight, I think you are going to even love more this wheel. But let's talk about what is my first impressions of this one, it's not maybe the full full review that I want to do but today is just to give you my first thoughts on the Gotway Bigod EX. So when we go back in time and if you look to the videos from my good friends in United States that wheel is just the first generation so eWheels received that wheel and is sent to YouTubers so they can give their opinion about the Gotway or Bigod EX and the opinion was not the best in the world so in that time they had a different motherboard they have already changed that and obviously there are things that I don't like so much on this one but overall the wheel is really really interesting obviously if you forget completely the price because i think it's really really pricey but let's talk about this one and the first thing that i want to talk is about the shape of this wheel this wheel is so much better than for example when you look to a gotway nikola that i think it was not the best decision the look the wheel looks nice but that shape just brings wobbles and is much harder to control even if it's an amazing wheel the plastics on these ones they feel stronger like i speak to you guys on a previous previous video that I've done about the RS where where that RS that I review it was crashed at 45 miles per hour if you want to check it definitely check that other video but the plastic they feel stronger than the plastics that you'll find for example on my Bigod or Gotway MSP something that I think that Gotway just came backwards is on the front light the front light on this wheel is simply rubbish I really don't like obviously it doesn't blind others like for example my MSP but is not strong as I would like so I have already talked about that I would love to see a wheel that have some lights that can adjust so when you are curving to the right and when you are curving to the left you have an extra light that will turn on and turn off also if you look to the RS that have much more LEDs I don't understand why they don't have done the same approach on this wheel because it's not really visible at night so just to point it out you need other stuff to make you more visible let's talk about the suspension I'm not going to, to talk about how it's easy or is is not to put more air or take it out because I think it's just super Super, super hard to do it that is also because there is a feature here that nobody's really talking about like you are aware I'm owner of the s18 and the v11 and the v11 is my favorite wheel overall okay and it continue to be and maybe that is another wheel that is going to get very very close to that one but when we talk about this suspension this suspension is very similar to the suspension that you get on the v11 the v11 have a little bit more travel but because this wheel is focused in the performance having a shorter suspension also helps to the suspension to readjust much faster and besides that the pressure that you have on this suspension is crazy compared to other suspensions so when you are on it, it doesn't really push you out of the wheel like it, it can happen when you are riding with a V11. But with this one, it really is responsive, but it just come back to the place. So I think maybe the travel on the V11 is just too big. It should be shorter if you want better performance. So I think that they found the, the right solution for the Gotway or Bigot EX. But what I don't like is how exposed is this suspension. So if something hits this suspension, say goodbye to your EX, okay? But when you are riding with this one you feel completely disconnected in the beginning because the wheel in my in this case is 39 kilos i'm only 73 kilos and fortunately i'm getting heavier it's really is more than half of my weight so it makes it di more difficult for me to for example get that first momentum to accelerate when you get some speed on this wheel is simply simply amazing i don't have any issues to break but if you try to break with this one you definitely and obviously accelerate you definitely need power pads i don't feel that you need power pads on the EXN obviously if you want to take better profit of your EXN you definitely should use it but in this wheel is a must-have it's it's not a wheel that I will recommend you to use without because the surface is really really slippery besides that it's a very very heavy wheel so let's talk about the motor because I think people 
don't really understand this motor. So this wheel is really heavy, like you are already aware of it. 39 kilos, you have the biggest motor on the market. So your first reaction is that the wheel will respond better than, for example, an EXN or something like that, because the motor is stronger. And it's not true, because the wheel is so heavy, it takes you a little bit longer to just make it go in front, okay? It's like if you ask to a football player that have 50 kilos to compete against another one that have 90 kilos, let's say, and you are expecting that the guy with 90 kilos will win because he have more muscles. It's not true. So when we talk about speed, obviously weight will have a big impact on that decision and on those results. But when you reach that plateau with this wheel, forget it. It's like, it goes, it goes, it goes, and you feel that the motor doesn't want to stop. But obviously, because it's so stronger, the motor, it also absorbs more energy than, for example, your EXN. I didn't have to try to do the range test for now, but I hope that I'll be able to do really, really soon. After that first momentum to accelerate, this wheel flies and going in a very irregular surface was the best wheel of all that I try until today. If you are searching for a wheel that is super comfortable, this wheel delivers that. If you are searching for a wheel that you have plenty of battery, this will deliver that to you. If you want a wheel up to 40 miles per hour, I think this wheel is also perfect for it. Another thing that I want to point it out in all these wheels is this uh, ridiculous handle. So obviously this is exactly the same on the EXN, but here because it's even heavier than the EXN, so EXN 32.8, this one 39, it makes even less sense this handle. But in the same time, makes a lot of sense because if you go to the MSP, and I'll bring my MSP in a second, here is my MSP. So like you can see, I have here my MSP and the handle is full of tape. Why? I live in the UK, it's always raining, so water is a reality. And water goes straight away to the motherboard that is on the bottom. So when you go to the EX, this is not nice. I believe that the motherboard on this one is on the top, so it's not on the bottom like it happened on my MSP and on the RS. So also something to consider about because if the water was going through the handle to the bottom, it goes straight away to the motherboard. So definitely not the best design that you find on that wheel. More things that I want to point it out on this wheel. First of all, that mudguard, Gotway be God. It's simply ridiculous. It's simply horrible. I don't really get it. Why you continue to have this type of design? And besides that, I have to point it out something that I really like about this wheel that happens exactly the same on my Z10 is that the speakers are inside the wheel. That is no holes to the speakers. And even if the sound is not the best, so let me just try to show to you guys. So the EX is already turned on, it's pairing. Discover Audible with an audio book on us. Let's put another one. So like you could see, it's quite loud. The sound is a bit muffy. I don't know what was the experience, how you could hear on the other side the, the sound of this wheel. One of the big issues that we've been seeing in uh, Gotway is some fires. And I think that that is really related with the batteries. They are not inside cases on plastic like it happened on Emotion. It happened just on one wheel of them. That is the M103. DC continue, I believe exactly the same. So the batteries, they are completely exposed, just covered with that blue wrap around plastic so it's not the same as having like a proper case to the batteries it's good like I said for safety reasons and also for the cold and I will give you more range supposedly but obviously this is going to take you more space on the inside of the wheel so maybe you'll have less space to put your batteries so that is a disadvantage but is also an advantage one of the things that I really like about the EX and EXN is having speakers they are quite loud they are not the best quality in the in the world because also you can't expect when the, the speaker is on the inside and doesn't have a space to come out the sound but it's much much better than than speakers that you find on previous generation wheels not expect to have a very very good sound but all in one it's always a good solution for who do I recommend this wheel and I have to say to you guys that that is a specific market for this one I believe that if you are a heavy rider you will simply love this wheel if uh, you are searching for a wheel that gives you that extra comfort this is the wheel for you if you want a wheel that gives you a lot of miles this wheel can be for you but if you are like super light like me you will love this wheel also but in the same time what I really felt is that I need to put more effort on my body so after a while when I, I'm riding for a 
a bit with the electric unicycle, with this specific electric unicycle, I feel some pain on my knees. Something that I was used to feel with my 9 Bot 10 because it's a wheel that you need to put a lot of effort on your body. In this case, I believe that the problem is my weight. If I was heavier and I could compete more with the weight of the wheel, I would feel much more connected to the wheel since the first moment that I'm trying to push forward and backwards, if it makes sense. Who is the target of the EX? Because in the end of the day, this wheel is a part of everything. So this one is like if the Sherman had a baby with the 9BOT Z10, if it makes sense. And in the end, I will explain you why. So this wheel is not for someone that lives, for example, in New York. So if you live, or even, for example, here in the UK, in London, I don't think that is the wheel for you. This is a wheel that you go in the middle of the traffic, or you have specific roads where you can go, and you have plenty of space to accelerate and to brake, because this wheel takes a little bit longer to accelerate and takes a little bit longer to brake. If you live in a city that maybe is dangerous i don't live in those type of situations but even recently someone tried to stole my wheel when i was riding hopefully in that day i was riding with the big odd exn even if they seems very very similar they are completely different and i was really thankful to be on that wheel because i managed to run away from them otherwise if i was on the ex i'll have lost my wheel for sure for sure that they will have catch me because this wheel even if i have a bigger motor and is after a while is more responsive than the EXN, the first moments, the first meters, this wheel is much slower than the EXN. So just to point it out, and I'm, I'm comparing the EX with the EXN without power pads, okay? So just to pull side pads, as you want to call it. Heavy users and someone that likes speeds, comfort, and do a lot of miles, this wheel is a blast. Maybe it's for you. Let me know in the comments below what is your opinion about the EX that I think is an amazing wheel. If you want to know more about this wheel, leave in the comments below what you would like me to cover. If you have any suggestions, also leave in the comments below my name is marco this is matt peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one